Hello guys, welcome again in CS Core and Network Fundamentals course. Last lecture we talked about the CS Core Network components where the main node in it is the MSC server. Let's now talk about the split architecture from MSC to MSC server and media gateway. Upon completion of this lecture, you will be able to differentiate between access networks and core networks. You will know the meaning of legacy architecture and split architecture, and how they are separated. Let's first talk about the legacy architecture, or like some people call it monolithic architecture, don't worry, both names of course are correct. In the legacy architecture networks, we have two important parts, which is the access part and the core part. Of course the core here is CS core. The access part consists of BTS base transceiver station and BSA base station controller. BTS is mainly used for the coverage of the cell and sending receiving signals with mobile station, while BSA is used for controlling these BTSs together. While in core, as we said before, we have the MSC and HLR. The two together are the two main nodes in CS networks. So let's see how a normal call will flow in legacy networks. The subscriber starts sending signaling messages indicating that he needs to make a call so that he needs to start the call setup procedures. I mean here by call setup procedures is the signaling message transfer before the call, like finding the location of the other user for example. So these messages will be sent to the BTS then to BSA, then it will enter the core network to the MSC, where the MSC will forward it to the HLR to know the location of the other subscriber that the call is going to, that's because HLR have records of all the subscribers in the network, and it knows their locations. Then HLR will reply with the subscriber location identifying he exists in which MSC. According to this information, the MSC will continue sending the signaling messages to the MSC which the HLR told about. And then the other MSC will send the signaling messages to the other user. This is the process of the signaling messages flow. Let's see how the user plane traffic flow is like. Will be from subscriber to BTS then to BSA, then to MSC to the other MSC, then to the other subscriber. We can notice here is that MSC is doing both functions, control signaling functions and user plane traffic function. This is what we mean by legacy or monolithic architecture, is that MSC is doing both functions. But see now what happens in the split architecture. As you see the MSC is divided into two nodes, the first one is called MSC server, and the second one is called media gateway where the signaling function now goes to the MSC server, while the traffic handling function goes to the media gateway. This is the actual meaning of the split architecture, is splitting and giving the MSC functions into two nodes. The MSC server for signaling, and MGW for traffic handling. Let's see now how call flow is done in split architecture. This is the split architecture, where we introduced here the media gateway, from the picture, you can observe that the signaling messages passes in the black dotted line, while user plane traffic passes in the black line. Accordingly, we can see the change happens here, in the split architecture is that signaling messages is now handled in the core, through the MSC server, while traffic is now handled in the media gateway. You can also see control messages between MSC server and the media gateways where MSC servers will need to send commands to media gateways to assign resources for user traffic and so on. This is the transformation we are naming it split architecture. Hope you had understand all the information in this lecture. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to message me. See you in the next lecture.